Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Issue 4 of Spider-Gwen, mini-series comic review. Now, as you know, the first run of Spider-Gwen was a five-issue mini-series that was meant to show the world of Spider-Gwen, and the cover has the Spider-Gwen version of Gwen Stacy with her phone basically looking cool in that. And we're introduced to the story where the Spotted Gwen version of Liz and Hob are basically talk, basically talking, and Hob, Hobie pretty much realizing that his like big mark on a large building didn't work, and saying, "Yeah, yeah, you and your Deadland gonna be the death of," and sees Gwen and Spotted Gwen, and of course does freak out. And is almost about to fall to his death, and Spider Gwen manages to rescue them successfully. And of course, does berate them for something stupid, and them talking about her being a sellout, basically saving cops and that. And he basically says, I'm not sleeping with Captain Stacy, you little perf. But, but does kind of point out that, you know, you shouldn't be doing this, and that, you know, you'll, you, you almost got yourself injured. And of course, Hobby does explain that they did it because they didn't want more areas of Hell's Kitchen being sold out to big corporate people. And of course, does le does let them be and leaves. And we're shown where Gwen Stacy's at the Parker House does want to see them, but thinking that if she's going to make this right, if she's going to make this worse. And so we see... Uncle Ben showing up, saying, I was wondering where you see you, honey. And don't, didn't want to ring the bell and wake up your old man, huh? Good girl. And so she lets her in for coffee and that, and basically gives her her, her, his, her favorite mug and leaves to find May. And of course, Gwen realizes this was a bit of a mistake. Looks at the scrapbook, knowing that it's going to bring back a lot of memories. And as soon as she opens it, she sort of remembers every event she got herself into, every mistake she made, everything that led up to what's been happening. So of course, Aunt May shows up to talk with Gwen, says that she's going to leave, but does want to talk with her. So of course, she points out how she knew what Peter was like, and that she knew... That that Peter had a feelings for Spider Woman. Of course, she did admit she knew basically what he was like, all the bullying, all the ridicule, and just wanted to have something bigger for himself. And this is a moment you can kind of tell that Aunt May was aware, but didn't want to admit it until now. And she as well wanted to look for something to blame. But pretty much, Gwen does reassure her that she knew he she, she knows Peter did love them, and this is like Aunt May realizing that Peter was always gonna not be right, and her wanting to look for something to blame after what happened with the lizard, her basically becoming more of an outlaw, and basically everything that led up to it, and basically. Aunt May realizing she can't keep blaming people for everything. And later on, we're shown where Gwen Stacy's looking at basically the graffiti artwork and Gory Grant asking if she's still in the band and that, and which she does show that she's still part of the band. And we're shown where at the police station, Officer DeWolf hears the officers joking. Basically assaults one of them for talking about Frank Castle in a negative way. And we're shown Frank Castle fully slowly recovered. And basically her and DeWolf planning to take on Spider-Woman the next time. And yeah, this is the story. So issue 4 isn't too bad. I think it's meant to deal with the after effects of issue 3. We, we kind of see how Gwen Stacy starts to realise that things have started to become a bit more dangerous, 
and her realizing that going back to the park house was a mistake, but it was nice for her to talk with Aunt May. So I think the issue deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.